Hello everyone and welcome to our Japanese mini truck channel. In our video today, we'll be discussing about the tire pressure on the Japanese mini trucks. The Japanese mini trucks have a good reputation across the globe. These vehicles are considerably smaller and more compact as compared to other lightweight trucks. So, why are people raving about the Japanese mini trucks so much? What is there to love? Well, the Japanese mini trucks have an advantage being the small vehicles that they are. They have better maneuverability and are very agile on that end. However, they are also very easy to maintain and not as costly as other vehicles such as the pickup trucks. In this guide, however, we will be discussing their tires to be more specific, the tire pressure. How much air can a Japanese mini truck tire hold? Let us look at some of the things that will make us understand the Japanese mini truck's tires and their tire pressure. Why is the tire pressure in a vehicle so important? Having a good tire pressure in a vehicle is very important for many reasons. But you cannot just go and start putting tire pressure on your tires or using your eyes as the pressure gauge. It can be a life-threatening situation if you do not have the right tire pressure. Imagine driving a car that has a higher tire pressure on one side than the other. The imbalance and stability that is there can be very disastrous. It might not be felt in the vehicle, but imagining such an imbalance when speeding in a corner could lead to an accident. In such an instance, the vehicle can easily roll over. That said, you need to make sure that the vehicle is well balanced and the tires have the right air pressure. Usually, the front tires have a slightly smaller tire pressure as compared to the rear tires. This is usually meant to balance the weight of the vehicle. However, it is important to always refer to the manual of the vehicle if you are unsure about the right tire pressure. So, how much air can a Japanese mini truck tire hold? For Japanese mini trucks, some may not have them in their manual as to what amount of pressure the mini truck should have. So, how much air pressure is needed? It is also important to keep in mind the fact that most Japanese mini trucks use tires that the vehicle did not originally come with. What that means is that the tires will be different. However, assuming that the mini truck is running on standard tires, it is recommended to have 27 psi of air pressure in the front tires and 30 psi of air pressure on the rear tires. But what is the maximum pressure of these tires really? Well, there are two things that one would have to look at when they want to know the maximum pressure that a tire can hold. First, it has to do with the size of the tire. Some of the most common Japanese mini truck tires used usually range between 12 to 14 inches in size. And this fact alone makes them sustain different amount of pressure. A 12 inch tire for instance can sustain up to 35 psi of pressure in many cases. However, that can go higher as the tire size increases. The tire pressure of any vehicle is very important. You need to make sure that you drive a vehicle which is balanced and inflated with the right air pressure. This concludes our video on the right air pressure of your Japanese mini trucks. Be sure to check out some of the Japanese mini trucks on sale through our listing page. Follow the link in the description of this video for more on that.